Hi, I'm Scott, Machine Gun Dad. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you read the header, this, we're going to talk briefly about the M2 carbine. Basically, let me set some things aside here. First of all, the M2 carbine is a military weapon. No, it sucks. It's too many moving parts. If you had to take it apart in the field and make maintenance, there's a little, couple little springs you'd never recover, especially in the dark. M1 carbine, so it comes apart so easy. So no, the M2 carbine sucks as a military gun. Should you buy it as a transferable, however? Yes and no. Yes, if it's not your only machine gun, okay? Because it's not really that much reliability and you can't run subgun matches and stuff like that. Yes, if you want a World War II era machine gun that isn't $40,000 or $30,000 or $20,000. And the reason for that is, on this gun, this is the registered part, the lower, okay? There are two kinds of M2s, where the whole gun is registered or where the trigger pack is registered. Try to find one where the trigger pack is registered because then you can turn around and stick this. Say you want to go out and shoot the crap out of it. You can buy a new made inland, throw the M2 parts in it, run the crap out of it, and then when you want to display it on your with your collection, you can put it back in a, net, in, in a GI carbine and you have a GI M2 because a lot of the GI M2s were never marked M2. Some of them are, most, but not all. So, would you buy an M2? Well, there's one other thing to consider, and you'll see it in the videos. Magazines for these, especially original ones, are kind of getting hard to find. Aftermarket ones seldom work in select fire. Semi, yes. The springs in these magazines are notoriously weak. And I'm going to have Gary zoom in on the back of this. All right. Can you see this, Gary? All right. What we're looking at is right here. These little gnaw nibs, which is what the magazine catch is supposed to catch, if you notice, they're not the same. So different manufacturers don't always follow the military standard. So the magazine is not going to sit in there properly. Further, let me find one if I can find, on the 30 rounders, there's a side to upset the extra weight. All right. Here is a, these are both non-GI magazines. And they have different followers in them. This is the one that stops the bolt open on the last shot, which is actually correct for this. And this is a, a carbine. So, if you get one of these and you want to run it semi, these would probably work. If you want to run it select fire or full automatic, you better find some GI magazines. Either way, if you want to select a, a transferable, World War II American machine gun, although in reality it's a Korean War machine gun. Yeah. My uncle had one of these actually in World War in Korea. Either way, think about it. Don't rush into purchasing it. If you're not sure, find somebody who knows something about it. I don't know if I taught you anything. We had fun shooting it. And it'll get clean, it'll get put back up on the wall, and then someday I'll sit down with my entire box of magazines and I'll throw the aftermarket ones and pull out the GI ones and just put the GI ones off to the side. Because I have five carbines, one select fire, the rest are just carbines. Thanks for coming to the channel. We'll be out on the range. We're outside. We're going to try the carbine on semi. And uh, then we'll flip it over to full auto. We're already, it's not in the video, but we're already on our second mag because, let's be realistic, aftermarket mags for these, they just suck. Well, the wolf seems to cycle. Let's flip it over. Boy, I missed that last round bolt hole open. We'll be back in a second with a bigger mag. I got a 30 round magazine. I don't know if this is a government one or not. Gun's still on full auto. Let's see if it'll work. Ah, uh, 
No. The spring is just not heavy enough to keep up. For, for giggles, we're going to try semi. So basically, if I could find a new mag spring for this, it would probably work on select fire. Let's see how it works with less ammo to move. Work better. That's the secret, I guess, until I get new springs. Only load these to about 22, 24 rounds. All right, I'm gonna let my buddy Gary try this thing out. Lean into it. Rack it. Bless it, I don't like this thing. You saw me shoot it, you saw my buddy Gary shoot it. You saw most of the problems that are pro the common problem with this gun is these. I'm going to see if I can get a 15 round mag dump out of this baby and then we'll be done. Thanks for coming to the channel. Hit the like and subscribe button. I might actually make it to 5,000 someday. Great. Leave it run because I wanted you people to see something. I was operating the gun fine. If you notice the gun, it, it stopped shooting after two rounds. That was just the, the me mechanism sometimes it does that I don't I have no idea why now maybe because this is a pack instead of a gun but that doesn't make any sense because the packs are the same and I have replaced all the springs in this every now and then it just doesn't reset you gotta let go of the trigger pull and squeeze it again and you saw it started firing again and apparently I have one good magazine thanks again